Hey y'all, welcome to this week's video or today's video. It depends on how it goes and how quick the meals are or if I really need to sit and video it so because it's a long process and you need to see it. What I mean by that is, y'all, this is like my um, series of like hotel cooking and I want to tell y'all something. This is not just for hotels, y'all. This is for any kind of small-scale cooking. Excuse me. You can be going on vacation, and you're staying in a hotel, okay? And you don't want to eat out every night. Y'all, I travel with an air fryer and an Instant Pot. And a lot of these meals are just going to be made in the air fryer and the Instant Pot. I might occasionally use my microwave. So that's what all these, these series of videos uh, for the next little bit is going to be about, okay? Hotel cooking, college dorm room cooking. I got to flip the burgers. Uh, college dorm room cooking. Um, let's say you're going on vacation and you're staying in a, a rent house or a log cabin on a lake somewhere, y'all, a camper, an RV, and you don't want to use the gas in your camper because you might need to save that propane gas for hot showers, okay, and baths in your, in your RV. Tent camping, y'all, you can take a cooler with some food in it, pre-prep it, haul it in your vehicle with you, You've got plug-ins at a lot of tent campsites. Run you an extension cord, baby. Set you up a little folding table. And you've got a makeshift kitchen. A little Coleman stove. You've got a makeshift kitchen, y'all. Use your creativity. Use what you have. Makeshift you a kitchen. I have a big old long tub. And I pack an Instant Pot and an air fryer. And Essentials cooking utensils things like that, y'all, and I bring it with me. Um, y'all, I have seen truck drivers travel with a small crock pot, a small Instant Pot, and a small air fryer. There's ways now that they can hook up these things through, what's the lighter plug-in? What's that called, y'all? That thing. Yeah, put it in the comments. Let me know that yeah okay and they're cooking in their their truck y'all and i've known some wives to go the extra mile that likes canning and these women will do like meals in a jar for their husbands to just pop open and and put in the instant pot and heat up or anything, y'all. Air fryer and heat up, y'all. People are getting creative. It's getting expensive to go out and eat. Now, y'all, granted, I like a good going out on a date night, you know, going and sitting down to a meal with my husband on a date night. You know, that's fine. But three meals a day, day in, day out, y'all, that gets expensive, okay? And if you're cramped for space and you're low scale, you know, the college, hey, college kids, y'all can use some of these recipes, okay? Y'all, Instant Pot macaroni and cheese is the bomb, okay? Uh, y'all, tonight, I'll just tell you my meal tonight. I went grocery shopping today, and I will tell y'all my little grocery haul because I forgot to... I'll take pictures as I go. I forgot to video my grocery haul and tell you how this week's meals was going to go and um, show you pictures of my grocery haul. I'm so sorry, y'all, but this is what I bought. <clears throat> I've got like, I, I, I come, my husband did the meal plan in this week. He said, I want some hamburgers and maybe some tater tots and french fries to go with it and get all the fixings. So I knew what he meant. Okay, <laughs> fixings. I knew what he meant. Then he said, and I told him, I said, you know what? I said, I'm kind of craving a roast and vegetables. And he's like, okay, make sure you get a chuck roast. Gotcha. I got you covered. I went to town today, and this is what I got. I bought a pack. He said, just get like 
the pre-packaged patties, you know, that are already made. Just pick up a box of those or a package of those. So that way, you know, I'm limited for space in here. I don't have to have a bowl to mix all this stuff up and, and you know, dirty up all these dishes. I got a teeny tiny sink, y'all. Uh, but I got one, okay, to wash dishes. A uh, little kitchen sink. And uh, I, I might include a shot of that in this video. But I found a deal. It was 12 pre-made patties for under $10. Y'all, I can get three to four meals out of 12 patties. And here's how. Tonight, I'm going to fix three hamburgers. Tomorrow night, we may have three hamburgers, okay? That's six. I've got six more patties to play around with. My husband will eat two of them. So, two more nights of three patties apiece. Y'all, that is four nights with 12 hamburger patties for less than $10. It was $9.37 for that package. You're welcome. So I'm seeing a couple of nights of hamburgers. I'm seeing a night of hamburger steaks and mushroom gravy with some mashed potatoes, maybe some green beans, fried green beans with some bacon bits and some onions. See, I'm already meal planning for the next one, okay? And then, y'all, I can use those last three patties. I've been wanting to try making some lasagna in my Instant Pot using the Springform pan. I want to try it. So, I want to combine those last three patties with a little bit of Italian sausage and make a night of lasagna. And there might be two nights of lasagna, Okay. So, see, I'm already pre-planning another meal. Okay, let's see. So, y'all, four meals, 12 patties, $9.37. All I got to do is buy just the little sides to go with it and find small things, it's packages, since it's just me and my husband. Okay, so tonight's hamburgers and tater tots. Now, I know I'm going to have a, a half a package of tater tots left over. I'm already looking at chili cheese tater tots chili if i had a cigar hanging out of my mouth i'd be like groucho mars whatever okay or who is that dude um anyway um yeah chili cheese tater tots so there's another night out of the tater tot two meals out of the tater tots i just need to get a pack of cheese or a block of cheese and shred it and a can of chili just for me and my husband See, y'all, I'm limited for space, so I'm having to carry over a leftover to another meal. Y'all, shop wisely, meal plan wisely. Use those ingredients up. Okay, what else? Hmm, okay, what else did I buy? Oh, y'all, the chuck roast, we're probably going to have two nights out of that, and there won't be nothing left. I'll put some, I'll throw some peppers in with that because I have some peppers left over. The, I have some onions left over. They will go with the green beans on the night that I make the hamburger steak. Ah, Y'all, look, I've come up with one, two, y'all, I done lost count. Y'all count up the meals. I, I said, y'all. So I'm getting burgers, hamburger steaks, lasagna. <laughs> Chili cheese, tater tots. Y'all, I've already come up with a week's worth of meals just on this grocery haul today. But I will just go down the street here to a little grocery store and just pick up little knick-knacky things to go with the next meal. Nothing major. No big grocery haul. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I did have to buy the condiments to... Um, go with the hamburgers tonight, like pickles, lettuce. Y'all, if I got some lettuce left over, we can have some salads one night with something as a side, or I can may I can get salad fixings, as my husband would say, get the fixings. Salad fixings, and just have salads one night, and just a simple, gut-pleasing meal, okay? Um relaxing quick meal okay uh the ketchup mustard um cheese pepper jack cheese to put on these patties um i did have to buy the condiments but that's things that 
is going to be in the refrigerator for a little while. And I only had to buy them one time. Okay, and they're going to last us. Pickles, ketchup, mustard. I picked up him a couple of tomatoes to put on his hamburgers for the next few nights. I don't like tomatoes, y'all. Not raw. Not raw. But, bleh. Okay, they'll go on his hamburger. Oh, and I bought the buns, okay? And there's like six buns. So, $4 for a pack of six buns, that covers us for the next two nights. Y'all, I think I spent, the roast was $20. I got the kit already made because, y'all, one chuck roast was $25 just for the chuck roast. So I'm like, eh, eh, eh. I think I can go find a kit. And it's got the big roast, little red potatoes, carrots, some celery. Yeah, seasonings. $20, y'all. And I'm going to get two meals off that. $10 a meal, y'all. I've got three or four nights of a $10 package of... Ham hamburger patties. I just knick-knacky things to go with them. Y'all, I think I only spent condiments, everything tonight, everything today was maybe $75, okay? 20 for the roast. All the condiments. Y'all, these condiments ain't cheap, though, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, the package of meat, that was 30 Um, uh, yeah, so y'all, I had like a whole week's worth, <coughs> maybe carry, <coughs> excuse me y'all, maybe carrying into next week, just putting some stuff with it, but y'all, prices are so high right now y'all, normally these wouldn't cost that much, but prices are so high right now, but y'all, you can use these things, truck drivers, Going camping in a tent, an RV, a log cabin, a, okay, a hotel, college dorm room. Get creative, y'all. And I'm just doing it with an Instapot and an air fryer, and I may have to heat something up in a microwave. That's it. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll take pictures of tonight's meal. And this may be a running video. All I'm doing tonight, y'all, I am putting the patties with some seasonings in the air fryer. And I'm cooking them on both sides. Now, at the very last minute, I'm going to put a slice of pepper jack cheese on top of each patty. That's it. That's all I'm doing with the patties. We'll make our hamburgers as we want. I've got uh, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, lettuce, pickles, um tomatoes okay then all i'm doing with the tater tots i'm gonna stick them in the air fryer we've got supper tonight y'all i'll show you some pictures and i'll include it in the clip okay uh tomorrow uh tomorrow night's uh meal is just all going in the instant pot i'll probably just run it attach it to this this uh video if all the meals are pretty simple and i don't really have to show you how to do the steps I will probably just include it in one long video and show you a slideshow at the end of our meals. But if it's something that I think that you might need to know how to use the Instant Pot for and show you how it functions in case you're new to Instant Pot, I'll do a separate video. I'll just try to do what I can for y'all, okay? But I will include pictures of our meals, okay? So I'll show you the pictures of this meal tonight and include them and tomorrow night's meal and i'll just make a running video okay so y'all stay tuned more to come don't cut it off yet Well, good morning, y'all. It's morning time. But I found a quick little thing that I can do for some breakfast in the morning. Okay? 
in the hotel room, I brought some blueberries out here with me that I needed to get out of our refrigerator back home. And I'm like, I am not throwing these away. I can do something with these. Y'all know me. I can do something with this, okay? So I packed them up in a cooler, a little, a little, um, small cooler that sat beside me in my truck on the way out here okay so i'm sleep i'm still sleepy y'all my husband has to get up early in the mornings and i get up with him and have coffee and i'm just kind of sleepy it's like just now 5 30 okay <laughs> so that tells you how early he has to get up okay so i was like i gotta do something with these blueberries so what i did was you know how like hotels downstairs have like the complimentary breakfast little items okay y'all i'm just gonna make me a smoothie to help me take the edge off in the morning before i can sit and have you know like a big breakfast you know just something right now to just take the edge off and give me something and use these blueberries up so y'all i went downstairs i got a thing of yogurt two things of yogurt because I got plenty of uh, blueberries and then I got two little cartons of milk so I've got blueberries a carton of milk two cartons of milk because I'm gonna make two smoothies one for today one for tomorrow and then two things of yogurt and I've got a blueberry smoothie this morning so and y'all I brought with me my husband got me a little smallish KitchenAid immersion blender. So this is the motor part of it. This is the immersion blender, okay? It comes with, I brought this whole set with me, y'all, in my little mini kitchen, my traveling kitchen. It comes with a little mini food processor. You put the motor part in here, comes with three attachments. Okay, this is not sponsored. Um, I just love KitchenAid accessories, y'all. A little mini food processor. I can use this for anything, okay? Mixing batters, mixing a little small dough, um, blending, chopping, anything that you use a food processor for. That little motor goes hooked in here, okay? So there's a mini food processor, mini immersion blender for smoothies, blending, um, soups pureeing soups okay and then it comes with a hold on y'all I should have had all this ready I'm still asleep a whisk attachment okay y'all I can do three different things with this little KitchenAid attachment okay and it came all in this little handy traveling bag or storage bag I use it for traveling okay so I'm fixing to make me a smoothie if I can get my phone set up here i'll show you how i use these attachments so give me just a second let me go find my tripod i'll be right back okay y'all we're gonna give this a whirl i've got it all attached we're gonna give this a whirl i've got blueberries a thing of yogurt and milk in here okay so we're just gonna stick this down in here i'm gonna go to the bottom because i don't want this thing splashing out on me y'all so i'm going to just kind of do it just to make sure it doesn't splash me. I want to make sure I'm getting down to the bottom, getting all the blueberries. to show y'all how it's working, okay? I think this one's blended up real good. I'm just gonna taste test it. So, let me set this here to where it doesn't fall over. Here's my milk I went downstairs and got. I've already got my yogurt in here and I got my blueberries. This one is gonna be my smoothie for tomorrow. 
And I don't want too much milk. I still want it kind of thick. So y'all watch how this works. I gotta try to get my finger on the <laughs> See the blades right there? I'm going to put this in my teeny tiny little sink, y'all. I'll show y'all my teeny tiny little sink this morning while I'm at it. Now let's do a taste test. That's good, y'all. That's good. All right, if I don't drink all this, I'll just put it in this little refrigerator. I've got me a smoothie for in the morning. You can add anything to your smoothies, y'all. But yeah, see, traveling with something like that that's easily travelable, and I can do three different things with that, y'all. I just made a smoothie for two mornings, and that did cost me a dime. <laughs> Except for the blueberries that I had already bought. Now, I wanted to save some blueberries because I just had a thought, y'all. And this may prompt me <laughs> to go get some more blueberries. Blueberry muffins. Yeah. Blueberry muffins. Y'all, I have my air fryer. I have my little egg bite mold. Blueberry muffins in the air fryer. I may try it. You know what? I have a little bit of flour down here. I can go downstairs, get milk and a banana. Banana muffins. Y'all, I love it when a plan comes together. I'm going to be like, um, uh, what's his name on, um, Hannibal on the 18. I love it when a plan comes together. Y'all, I may try some banana muffins. That just gave me an idea. I think I have some cinnamon over there. I've got sugar. I've got the flour. I'll have to see what I... Y'all, I love just coming up with stuff at a moment's notice. I may try it, y'all. <laughs> I felt a sneeze coming on. Y'all, I've got laundry going at 5.30 in the morning downstairs. <laughs> Fix and sit back and have me a smoothie while they're washing. And, y'all, I may try some banana muffins just to play. Y'all, don't be scared to try things, okay? Don't be scared. Just get in your kitchen and play. I may try that just to see how it turns out and may walk y'all along with me doing it. If it works, hey, it works. If it doesn't, We'll figure it out. What what happened? What can I tweak? Okay? Just because you cook something and it doesn't turn out, ladies, do not get frustrated. Do not give up. Just tweak it a little bit. See what can be changed. I'm going to give it a whirl, y'all. I may try that when I go downstairs. I may go see if they've got some bananas, and I may make some banana muffins, y'all. All I got to do is use my little um, food processor right here. Or my beater and make my batter, y'all. It does. It won't take much. I would say probably a half a banana, cause my little mold only holds seven little little for little muffins. Just downscale it. Half of a banana. One carton of milk. I've got some flour. Y'all, I just had a good idea. If I don't do it this week or in this set of videos. I will get around to it because that is an awesome idea. And it depends on when they have bananas downstairs, too. They serve a different fruit every day. So, the next time they serve bananas, I'll go down there and grab one. But that's a quick breakfast for y'all this morning, and it was free, except for the blueberries, like I said, that I brought with me. I'm going to munch on this um, smoothie, go check on my laundry, and then we'll see y'all when it's time to cook supper, okay? See y'all.
Hey y'all, I am back and I showed y'all I would let y'all know when I was getting ready to do tonight's meal and that's exactly what I'm fixing to do. So I'm fixing to show you how I'm going to whoop this up, okay? Now, I'll show you what I got. Let me put y'all right here and I'm going to show y'all what I got. Pot, we're good. Well, I picked up the beef stew seasoning mix, but you can pick up the pot roast beef stew. They've just about got the same stuff in it, y'all. I like this flavor. All right, this is my beef roast with vegetables, y'all. My kit I told you about. This is all I'm going to do, y'all, for this right here. I'm going to just open up this little packet. <laughs> I'm going to take the lid off my Instant Pot. I am going to put, I think I like putting the vegetables on the bottom, y'all. Reason being, a lot of times, if you will cook meat on top of your vegetables, it just soaks up all those juices, natural juices from your meat and your seasonings and you just about don't have to season these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the bottom of the Instant Pot. All right, I am not going to cut up, you know what, I am actually. These potatoes, I'm gonna quarter them right quick. Ow. I'm gonna quarter them right quick, and we're just gonna dump them down in there. Y'all, you can, like I said, I picked this up for $20, y'all, because just one roast, y'all, costs $25 for about that size of meat. It costs $25. Plus, having to buy the rest of your vegetables. I wasn't doing it, y'all. I wasn't doing it. Okay, we're just going to quarter up these potatoes. Now, I do not have my pressure cook. I mean, I do not have my Instant Pot on right now. See, there's a whole onion, so I'm going to dice that up a little. Okay. I'm just going to do strips, okay? Because they're going to shrink down, y'all, okay? Fix your skew if you get one of these ready-made kits. Whoop. Okay, I'm going to have to throw that half away, y'all. It's on the floor. <laughs> Never fear. Okay, never fear. I have got some onions already in my refrigerator over there. Okay, I'll just get that pack out and we will do away with these onions. All right, let's do one more. We'll do away with those. All right. Okay, there's one more little potato. We'll just have that. Now, y'all, you can make your potato smaller if you want to. That's fine. I'm just doing this. You know, like this. All right, we're going to put our carrots in there. Voila. Vegetables are in the bottom. Trash is in the trash. All right. Oh, look at there. It came with some seasoning. All right. I'll save this for something else, y'all. Okay. Now, let's get our meat in here. Oh, I hate these things you have to pull apart, y'all, because I just about don't have enough strength in my fingers. Okay, there we go. It's okay. I'll get it. <laughs> now, I'll tell you one thing you can do. If y'all want to sear your roast before you put it in there, all you would do is put your Instant Pot on saute. Let it heat up. Put your roast in there. Sear it on both sides. Then hit cancel. Okay, but for this sake, I want to get this done before my husband gets off work. I want him to have a warm meal when he gets here. I am going to take this out of the package and put it right on top of all these vegetables. Y'all, that looks like a big old steak. Do y'all see that? Let me lift y'all up. Do y'all see that? Y'all, that's what he does for, oh my gosh. I'll let y'all know if we get some more out of this, y'all. We may, I know we're going to get two nights of stew out of it, but there may be some meat left over, y'all, but it's going to shrink, too. So let's just wait and see. Before I get my hopes up, let's just wait and see. All right, now, this is going to go in the trash. Let's throw this onion away. Half of it came over here at me. Okay, now, y'all know in an Instant Pot, you have to have 
for a six to eight quart instant pot, you have to have at least one cup of liquid. Here's my seasonings. Here's my one cup of liquid. If I don't cut my face. Okay. I'm just going to mix these up. This is going to be my one cup of liquid. Y'all, it's no different than doing this in a crock pot. The only difference between a crock pot and an instant pot, one's quicker than the other. You could probably do the same thing in your crock pot, okay? But you'd have to sear it in a frying pan, then transfer it over to your crock pot. So, y'all, a lot of crock pot recipes can be tweaked and used for the instant pot. You just change your time. That's all. That's it. You just change your time. One's just faster than the other. So, here's all my seasonings. Watch this. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Oh, I just don't know if I can do this. Just don't know if I can do this. Oh my goodness. Voila. Voila. That's all there was to it, y'all. Now I'm gonna bring y'all over here and I'm gonna let y'all see. Let's get our lid on. Y'all, let me show you. Look in there. We got the seasonings, we got everything. Let me get my lid. Let me see if I can do this with two hands, y'all. One hand. Let me get my lid. That right there lets you know. Make sure you put it on uh, sealing, not venting. We got it on sealing. All right, we're going to hit pressure cook. And we're going to go up on the minutes to 60, y'all. This is going to take at least an hour, so you better plan for this, okay? Y'all better plan. And, you know, one hour. There we go. Now, it is going to... That's all you do, y'all. That's all you do. I got it on ceiling. Now it says on. That means it's fixing to start pushing all that air out it will lock the lid and it will it will seal and then it'll start cooking so an hour from now i'm gonna have a beef roast on the table y'all with some vegetables if i get a chance i'm gonna let this naturally release if i get the chance and i open up the lid i will show y'all what it looks like and i will show you let me, whew, let me get this light out of my eyes i'll show y'all what it looks like or if i if i don't get to i will because y'all i still have to take a shower i have been cleaning doing things all day washing laundry okay so i said you know what i'll just get it later so if I don't get to let you see, I'm probably going to let it naturally release. So that way it will keep it tender, okay? I'm going to naturally release it. All right, now, if I don't get to show you what it looks like as soon as I open the lid, what it's going to look like inside the Instant Pot, I'll plate it up and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like, y'all. But that's all. How hard was that? Now, this one is going to be an hour. But I've still got a complete meal on the table in an hour. And I'm not sitting over here slaving, y'all. You just throw everything in the Instant Pot, turn it on, you're done. Walk away. Okay, well, don't walk too far away. Uh, anyway, that's all I did, y'all. So, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll let it naturally release, and then I'll let y'all try to see what it looks like. And like I said, if I can't, I will at least just try to plate it up. I'll, I'll catch you back here in a minute. I'll do what I can as soon as it this thing cuts off and it naturally releases, okay? It takes about 10 minutes to naturally release the pressure before you can even take the lid off, okay? If you don't know anything about Instant Pot's pressure cookers, you cannot open that lid until all of that air is out, okay? Please don't do that, okay? Don't try to open it up, all right? Um, I will see y'all back here and let y'all see what this looks like when it gets done. I'm back, y'all. I have let it do its thing for an hour, y'all. It has naturally released. It has cut off. I'm fixing to show you what it looks like in the pot. And then I'm going to plate it up. So I'm going to turn you around. Y'all see that? 
I've already checked for doneness to make sure. Y'all, it was so tender. <laughs> I'm going to have to use a spatula to lift up under it because it's so tender. It's just coming apart, y'all. The vegetables are done on the bottom. I'm fixing to plate us up some, and I'll let you see what it looks like. Give me just a second. All right, y'all. I got us plated up. That's what it looks like for tonight. 60 minutes, y'all, and I didn't have to touch it. Well, yeah, turn it on, put it in there. Yeah, you get it. We've got some left over for tomorrow night. Y'all, there we go. Instapot chuck roast and vegetables. There you go. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'll just end this video here, okay? Because it's, it's pretty long, so I'll end the video here. There you go. I will see y'all in the next meal that I make. God bless.